Hi, and good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much, Sag, for liking the videos, for subscribing to the channel. I was doing your pre-shuffle, and I keep hearing about uh, a three to one. Let's see if it comes out. Sagittarius, please, spirit. Saggy. Ooh. Deal with the unexpected, Sag. Celebrate life. Ooh. You've got the gift of freedom here. Let your imagination soar. Draw from the well of your own capabilities. You're celebrating life, Sag. A solid foundation. So you've had to deal with the unexpected. But treat the unforeseen as divine offering. Break away from your attachments. You've got a, a gift of freedom, Sag. You're celebrating life. Your imaginations are kicking in. So, Sagittarius, it is time for you to create. It is time for you to embrace the gifts that sometimes are unforeseen. What's going on, Sag? Time to celebrate your life, Sag. Ooh, a complete paradigm shift. Cosmic heart, cosmic Christ. So this is enlightenment. Wisdom. It's like... Um, a second chance, a second celebration, a second chance, a second opportunity to unplug from mass consciousness. This is, you've gotten a gift of freedom. You're not afraid to be different, Sag. You're not afraid to use your imagination. You're not afraid. It's like you've had to deal with the unexpected. And I'm hearing many times, Sag. You don't think like other people think. You don't do what other people do. You're different. You're unique, Sag. And you've got the reassurance of the golden light. A complete paradigm shift, Sag. Hmm. Sagittarius, what's this all about? So this person was in their pride, you know, figuring that they were the leader here. You're receiving joy. You've cleaned up some kind of burdens, some kind of clearing your energy. You might have seen a lot of coincidences or... Mm, so every death, anger, retaliation, and jealousy. Someone is jealous and envious of you, Saj. There you go, because you accepted help. Maybe you're delegating authority. Maybe you are the leader, Saj. You've taken your freedom and somebody is not liking it, Sagittarius, one bit. <clears throat> you freed yourself from a bunch of burdens. Hmm. This person's pride. The this person is like. I think this person's pride got in the way, Sag. They were thinking like the masses. Sagittarius has like way more wisdom i'm hearing and it's like these people are angry or this person is angry jealous that you took a leadership role here i think you freed yourself and they're angry because you did because things are over could have been you know a 
a spiritual lesson. Hmm. Judgment, spiritual judgment. Mass consciousness. So see, this person may have been afraid of judgment. This person snuck away from some kind of judgment. Figured that they could cheat the system or cheat this higher authority. This is spiritual judgment. Huh. So here you are. Freed yourself. Took a leadership role. You were confident. Abundant. Nine of Pentacles. It's you, Sag, who's unplugged from the mass consciousness. You took a leadership role, and that's why you're celebrating. But someone around you is definitely jealous and envious. See, as they were trying to sneak around. Maybe they weren't willing to budge, Sag. They were in their pride. And they figured that they could get away with something, Sag. They figured that they could get away with, or they're trying to avoid some kind of judgment. Maybe the masses were judging you. Maybe you were being judged for your belief system. I don't know. There are communications here with Source. And I think that Source told Sag to free themselves. Hmm. This person was thinking like the masses. Meaning that everybody cheats. You know, everybody cheats. I'm hearing. <laughs> and Sagi's like, well... I'm confident. I'm a leader. I'm going to trust my intuition. I'm going to trust Source. I told you this person thought that they were better than you. This person thought that somehow they were in their pride and their ego. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were thinking like the masses. Figuring they could treat you as an option. Or that... Uh, hang on. Yeah. S criticism, judgment. So people around... This person were judging you, Saj. They were. And this king of wands was listening to someone else saying this queen of swords was backstabbing you, Saj, backstabbing, telling this person, you know, it's going to end miserably if you hook up a Sag. This is going to happen. That is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Let's depress this person that you moved on. I think you trusted your intuition here, Sag. Now, there could be a child involved here as well. Some news of a child that this person was hiding from you. Unplug from the masses. Dare to be different. So you did, Saj. That's why this person was slow offering you because people were fighting and arguing about this love offering. 
that caused them to be stressed out. Maybe this person was trying to, like, avoid a confrontation with you or some kind of conflict with you. But this is people warring. This is people being combative. This is people who were setting up roadblocks and obstacles to keep this emperor confused. They should have unplugged. They should have listened to their emotions. There's some healing this person had to do. You were sent here to be the guide in this person's life. And, like, they knew better, Sag. This person knew better. But they blocked their blessings. They held back from you. The Empress. <laughs> their soulmate. Their destined partner. They knew they should have collaborated with you. But something kept this person stuck. And it was mass consciousness thinking. Maybe people around this person said, you know, everybody cheats. Everybody does this. Everybody does that. And they listen to the masses. They listen to the devil. <laughs> and now they're burdened. I think they regret being a player. This is the past. That's the truth spirit saying. They know why this separation occurred. They caused this separation by juggling their true love. Feeling sorry for themselves. Victim mentality. Crying over spilt milk. Huh. Because you move forward, Saj. And they're angry that you've moved on. I'm telling you. They're feeling insecure. Feeling small. Feeling hurt. Feeling like they were a fool for hurting you and choosing this other love. But I'm telling you, they did things for attention. <laughs> they did. Look, Saj, there you are. Being blessed. New ideas. Creating with source. Hmm. That's why this person... <laughs> so, see? They know that you're stable. They know they were unfair. Some kind of... truth about uh, this is a divorce they ended something the waiting to divorce are waiting so this person was searching for something materialistic and now that you are being blessed and now that you are receiving all this stability, maybe you purchase some, um, this person is hurt by your success that you're celebrating. They're hurt that you are getting good karma and they are not. They're getting things, that's an ego death. This person has got to suffer. So here they are. Huh. They might have cut you off. They may have ignored you. They may have just, like, been more... It's fear. Expect the unexpected. Huh. Well, well. Unexpected. Well, Saji dealt with it. Unplugged from mass consciousness. Like, that's like saying, I don't care what other people think. I don't care what other people want. I'm not here for other people. Other people are not doing my work. Other people are not paying my bills. Other people are not providing for me. I provide for myself. That's strength. That's leadership. And having the wisdom. You know, this person was thinking negatively. 
thinking maybe you'll never find out. Unplugging. So they were afraid to stand up for themselves. They might have acted big, sad, but this person may have been a coward in inside and was doing things to be popular with other people. Reputation, you know, Maybe this person figured, you know, well, I need something on my arm that makes me feel look like a leader. Sagittarius is like, why do you care what other people think of you? Why do you care what other people want from you? What about your own life? And what about what's good for you? This person is thinking about what you said. I think this person is shocked beyond shock they're spying on you and they are shocked and they're sitting here thinking why was i so afraid why was i in this negative mindset why did i allow other people to control my life and why is it that i have to be so popular why is it that i gotta make other people happy Look at Sagittarius. They look at Sagittarius and they go, Sagittarius was not afraid of what other people thought. You may have been called down, Sag. Hey, like for real, people could have been slandering your name. They could have been accusing you of things. They could have, you know, talked the most about you. Whether whoever these people are, other lovers friends family who cares this person listened to other people where sagittarius freed themselves looked at this with a second ray of wisdom said you know what if i'm ever going to be happy if i'm ever going to fulfill my purpose or my destiny i'm the one that gotta make the change i'm the one that gotta do this alone I'm the one, alone or with someone. I am going to reach my destiny. I'll have to make the change then. You don't want to change your mindset. I'll have to do the changing. So that's why you're celebrating. And these people are spying on you. <laughs> Look what they're spying on. Your Ten of Pentacles. The big changes in your life, the celebrations that you're experiencing. You could be purchasing a lot of real estate. You could be ascending. Uh, you've had to give yourself your own closure. Do you know what I mean? You've completed a cycle. You, you, you were, you've done this alone, Sagittarius. You unplugged from the masses. You didn't give a crap what other people thought of you, your ideas, your in inventions, your creativity. Saggy. You don't give a crap about judgment. You don't care, Sagittarius. You just don't care. Sure, it affects you, but it don't take you down. Saji, hang on. <laughs> you looked at it as an opportunity for freedom. You looked at it, okay, um, I can't change the mindset of others. I can't change. I'm not going to live in fear. I'm not going to stay stuck. I'm not going to go down for the count. This person does not want to invest in me and see a future with me. I'll head out on my own horse. And I'll go seek my own adventure. Second ray of wisdom. A new plan. A new idea. A new beginning. <clears throat> and Sagittarius, look at the Wheel of Fortune. You're celebrating. Look, you're celebrating. And you could be getting a new soulmate. A new idea. Either way, a new creation. A second ray of wisdom. A second opportunity, a new life, and new beginnings. 
Sagittarius is single and abundant and alone and accumulating this wealth. And this person is spying on it, thinking, why was I so in this mindset? Why was I so afraid to love the love of my life? That's a one horse show, Sag. <laughs> you now could be in a position of delegating authority. Sagittarius goes, the only person I can change is me. So if I don't like my life, I got to change it. Sagittarius did. And that's why Sagittarius unplugged from the masses. You could have gone ghost for a while on people, people who you may not have talked to for a long time, now are spying on you. Holy crap, what happened to Sag? A complete paradigm shift. That's because the masters, the archangels, are behind you, showing you the way, saying, Sagittarius, get on your horse <laughs> and follow your life path. Look at that. The Christ light is with you. Your heart belongs to Christ. What Christ wants in your life for you. Get on your horse. You should be delegating authority. You should not be working your arse off uh, at this dead end job, this dead end relationship. What are you doing, Sag? Second ray of light. An epiphany moment. Sagi goes, you're right, spirit. You're right, guardian angels. I'm getting on my horse and I'm heading out in a new direction. I don't care what people think of me. I don't care what people want from me in my life. I'm doing my own thing now. I'm being the authority in my life and I'm heading out. And there you go. Got the backing of the angels to do it. Look, I found my life path. There you go. Look, someone tried to <clears throat> cause you to fall, Sag. This dark angel. Someone tried to cause you to fall, Sag. Saggy spirit says, hey, hey, Saggy, follow the orbs of light. Follow the light. This is your life path. Head her out, Sag. Unplug from the masses. Who gives a crap if they're against you? I am for you. And let no one put us under. <laughs> Saggy did. Wheel of Fortune, complete paradigm shift. Saggy's the one celebrating. Saggy's the one with the new opportunities, the blessings, the new ideas, the new beginnings. And Saggy might be getting a new soulmate connection coming in. Who? is going to be rejoicing. Now this is either a, a relationship or this is a business. Either way, Saji may have partnered up with someone or with the universe, became your partner, said, okay, you know, alone, soldier, <laughs> Saj, Headed out on their horse. Here I go, Saggy says. I'm going to follow my orbs of light. I'm going to listen to the Christ light. And I am going to stay on my divine path. You will not turn me over to the dark. You want to live in the dark? You live in the dark. And what this person is, they're sitting here thinking, Oh my God, I fell for a trap. I ignored my partner. I acted cold. I was seeking materialism. I was thinking in a negative mindset. I turned my back on my true love and thinking that I could hurt my true love and seek another soulmate or another partner. But that was deceptive. It was poor me. So why'd they go to this dark angel? Hmm. 
lot to think about, Sag. That's why this person is always spying on you. They could not break free of that mass consciousness of what people will say, judging them, if they did what they did and partnered up with Sag. Sag goes, okay, I can't change you. I can only change myself. Head it out. And have found your destined path. And this person's spying on you. And now it's a complete paradigm shift. Saji's winning. And they're in this lack. Because they could not step out of that mass consciousness. They may have teamed up. Thinking that another lover was going to give them more financial rewards. Well, that's going to end in heartbreak. Because they didn't follow the light. They followed this dark angel. <laughs> Paradigm shift, Sag. That's what this read is saying. You just keep on a-going, Sag. You're a one-horse show with the backing of your angels. You're unstoppable, Sagittarius. You keep listening to your intuition, your inner self. Not give a crap what people think of you, Sag. Do Sag. Take care.